Hey YouTube, it's Legend here. Welcome back from the episode of Ratchet and Clang Deadlocked, or Ratchet Deadlocked, or whatever you want to call it. So basically, I actually made a big mistake in the last episode. I said that um, the max level HP in the normal mode is 50. I got it wrong, it's 100. And we actually got the achievement for actually reaching the middle point. But we're actually going to be going to a new, like, actual area. Also, why have we got one skill out of 15 complete? I don't know. But we're going to go to the Marcus Prison. Let's go. So I'm actually really excited because it's the second to last planet in the game. Wow. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to be or anything. But I want to know our actual ranking in the game. Are we number one? Are we number two? And I don't know what it gave you actually do get to number one on the rankings. I'm actually really curious about that. But yes, we're on a new planet. And to be honest, it's like a barren wasteland. Today our superstar contestant has his work cut out for him. His bots have been scattered throughout the prison under heavy guard. To escape, Ratchet will need to free each of the captives, then fight his way through an army of killer robots. Oh, wow, it seems pretty simple, this. Uh, save the the guys, and then uh, fight for a uh, bunch of enemy robots. So I actually want to save my uh, my money for the, I think it's the last upgrade, the time bomb upgrade. I know we still got the uh, brainwash thing, but eh, if I miss one, I don't really mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing some easy shots here, guys. I'm missing some easy shots. Die. Okay. Oh, I missed him. God damn it. It's fine. Run over, run over. Snipe. Can, can I get him? Let me snipe him. Oh. Shotgun. I thought. I, I honestly thought the sniper rifle had more faster, like, attacks. I guess not. I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. Okay, more of these small guys attacking his spine. Use that magma cannon to get rid of them. Okay, I don't know where we're going here. I wish we're making our way round, then we're just going to jump in, or... Oh, okay, we are jumping in. We're going to save, save our bots. Oh, it's our bots. Our actual bots. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, chill out. Okay, we've got, we've got another skill point. Don't get me wrong. I'm fine having skill points. Don't get me wrong there. Okay, oh, my God. Your skill points are blooming. Probably, probably for getting like so many skill points. I'm guessing there's an achievement for getting all of the skill points in the game, which we're not going to get because balls to that. Am I right? Okay, it looks like we've just got to keep fighting the enemies and just keep pushing on through. So where do we go now? Do we just go through here? Oh, um, what, 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 what are we meant to be doing? Oh, EMP blast, idiot. Idiot. That's me. I'm, I'm stupid sometimes, guys. You know I'm stupid. I make some silly mistakes, some rookie mistakes. Okay, boom. Okay, where is the next guy? Oh, it's over here. Oh, hey. I do kind of like this idea, like having to fight to actually get out. Oh, is that another vehicle? Oh, it's actually not. It's not. It's a decent vehicle. It's not the worst vehicle in the game. So, I'm kind of happy with that. We can get this guy. Come on, we can get this guy. Fine, we'll snipe him. Boom, got him. Okay, let's actually get in the vehicle. I do like. Oh my god, we actually use the gravity boost as well for the first time in this entire game. What? Why can't, why can't we get in the vehicle? I'm guessing we're going to need it for the second part of this mission. That's probably why, isn't it? I have to be easy. Yep. Yep. How did I know? But uh, yeah, there we go. We actually completed another rank. We got eight thousand points, and we're going to be heading to the capture the control points. We've only got one of our like friends back though, so I'm actually curious how this is going to portray. Like, I was going to have one for the entire in the entirety until we save the next one. I actually have no idea, but yeah, let's go off and uh, kill these guys slowly. You're going to die. You're going to die. Nope. Uh, is there a way to reverse? Is oh, okay. I got it down. It's been so long since I actually drove this car, like this vehicle, so it's kind of like getting used to it again. You know, it's pretty difficult. Okay. Those guys give a lot of experience. And it turns out, the experience I actually did mention, I was incorrect again. I, like, like I say, when I, I'm wrong, I always admit it. And I was wrong with the whole, um, oh, you have this to do, you have that to do. Okay, we're going to go back and some HP because I don't want to die. I wish I just died. We actually did get the capture point, though. So I don't know if it's going to save. It is, okay. Um, so I did get it wrong with the HP. The HP cap is 100. And I don't know if that's in the post game. And it's going to be a higher target in the, like, the actual next part of the game or not i have no idea maybe it will maybe it won't only time will tell with that but yes go and get in there and just like bring in our good old uh, main man to actually capture that so to be honest we're just like rushing about here just trying to get as much as we can this weapon this this vehicle does like no damage so it's like well all the vehicles in this game do like crap damage so there's no point actually wasting time we can just like get in there and just rush rush off you know just like drive off and sometimes we can actually get some kills but like otherwise it's just it's a really weak, it's a really weak vehicle, and 90% of these cars in this game are goddamn weak, and they're ridiculously underpowered, you know. And I don't like that, you know. If we're playing a Ratchet Clank game, I want weapons which do a sheer amount of damage, you know. You have to like level up, but with the vehicles, you can't level them up for some reason. You just can't, you know. And it makes them pretty rubbish. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last one. I think we actually did some record time, to be honest. It was another ship. And are we just going to walk in or is it going to end or what, what's the plan now? I, oh, it looks like we are, we are going back, okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll actually get to leave the vehicles, that's the question. Will we be able to just 
just walk past them. Can we actually get out? We can get out. Okay, cool. Boom. Let's go. Okay, it looks like the the map's actually designed so we can actually use the Puma on certain missions. Hmm, interesting. Nine thousand bolts, not bad. And uh, yes, we're gonna go leave no man behind. Locate Delta Block. So we actually still need to get our next member of our team. You know, we, we need to go and save him. So it looks like it's just me and uh, me and our first our first man here. Let's actually stock one ammunition. Let's, let's go in with the bomb because we haven't actually used. It. Oh my god, it's, it's doing a, a, a pretty decent amount of damage. Like it's not doing amazing damage. Don't get me wrong, but it's not doing god awful damage. Wow, that's, that's pretty goddamn good. Like for what it is. Okay, these guys. Ah, good damn it, get be gone, guys, be gone. Okay, wait for these guys to appear. Ooh, you got, you got baited, mate, you got baited. Oh, guess what, baited again. Bless you, bless you. The B6 Obliterator is actually doing some decent damage for once, you know what I mean? It's, 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 I'm surprised, you know what I mean? I am pretty surprised to go into the Magma Cannon and uh, try to get this max level as well. Ooh, okay, EMP. It's kind of lucky that we actually did get one of our grunts so early on, because if not, we'd have to run past all these guys and just hope for the best. Okay, we can kill this guy, come on, we can kill him. Die already, just die. Just die. Yes, there we go, okay. There's a chopper aiming straight for us. Let's go and pull out our rocket launch. Come on, let me get the rocket launch, please. Let me get it. Come on, top right, come on. I know you want me to get it, come on. There we go. There we go. So I don't know how many weapons we've got left. It might be just like the one, the Halbringer. But there might actually be another weapon which we need to get. I actually have no idea, like, with most action clan games, I've actually never got the Rhino, or I only know briefly what the Rhino does in that game. And in this game, it's no exception. I actually have no idea what the Rhino does. So I'm actually really curious to see what's going to happen when we do get it. You know, like, it's kind of, I'm really curious about it. I'm really, really curious. So actually, head up here. No man left behind. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, bro. Okay. You, you, you won't get away from my bra. We need him. He's part of our posse, man. He's part of our group. No one gets left behind. Okay. You, do the hack array. Get it done. Get it done. Okay. Die, die. I actually do like the freeze mod. I think the freeze mod is probably the most useful out of all the mods in this game. Not because it's good, it's just it just lowers the amount of attack damage they do. Also, like I said, it's really lucky that we actually did get one of our um, actual friends early on. You know, because like now we've just freed another guy. Well, at least we found him at least. We haven't freed him yet, but there we go. Oh, I got some got some pretty high level amount of kills there. And it looks like we need to rescue Bot Two. I thought he hasn't even got a name. It's like. Rescue bot two. Also, Roger Clank one button right there. Pretty, pretty nostalgic. Okay, what can we buy? Can we buy the new mod yet? No, we can't. That's fine. That's fine. So uh, let's go into the mine launcher. Oh my god! Let's get the crap out of me, my god. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of turrets around here. And I don't know when these guys are gonna spawn. Um, are they gonna spawn straight away or how's it gonna work? Ooh, watch your step. A skill point for actually getting um the um, mines out there. I don't know if I'm actually going to go back and actually get all the skill points, by the way. Um, they are in the game, and I might actually do it off screen and just get all the skill points. I'll probably just do a list, because, like, it's going to be pretty much use this weapon, use that weapon. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. But they, they should spawn the turrets, if I'm thinking straight. Why isn't these turrets actually spawning? Because I honestly thought that the turrets would just be like, here you go, fight me. You know what I mean? But that they're not. You know? Okay, do I have to the bone again? I guess we do. So it looks like we're just going to continue continuously keep going around. Oh! Oh, it's like a corkscrew, isn't it? Oh, okay, I, that makes sense, you know. That makes sense. So, over time, more and more of these guys are going to spawn. Can't, can't we just, like, put mines down on all of them, then? Just, like, mines, mines. Like, that way, whenever these guys pop up, we can just get them as soon as they spawn. I'm guessing that would work. Let's put the magma cannon on as well, because I think these guys are going to be first over here. Okay, by my mate, enemies, you, you, you just keep spawning. We'll actually enemies to have. Ooh. <laughs> Thank God for the uh, bounce thing. But this will free... Our friend, I guess. But these guys have got sniper rifles now as well, Jesus. But uh, yes, our, our second bot is now free, yay! We freed you, bro! So where do we go from here now? Do we just go, uh, do we just wait out or do we continue going up? I have no idea where we go. So we're gonna continue fighting though with our bot two. Come on, show us what we've done, bot two. We can we can achieve anything when we're together. So do we just hit key at the button held down? I'm guessing we do, okay. No idea what we've got planned, but we're keeping our hand on the button to see what that's gonna do. Um, I don't know what we what we need to do here. It's not it's not being clarified. Do we just have to keep fighting, or I have no idea. Not me, like we won't complete the, the objective. It just ends. So I'm a bit confused. What's actually happening here? Is it over, or do we have to just keep fighting, or what's what's the actual plan? Or do we have to kill the turrets now? I actually have no idea. Might as well just keep kill, kill, killing things, I guess. Experience. 
I'm not complaining about experience like if, if I get for free, you know, it's it's always a bonus. Like honestly, where where are these enemies coming from? Like, is it actually spawn point above us? Well, it makes sense how they can get in here, but like they're not ending. Okay, let me get the rocket launcher, please. Thank you. I feel like the rocket launcher is so hard to get as well. Okay, we need to resurrect our down bot. The one we it's probably just the one we saved, the one I don't like the most. Okay. These guys aren't even doing that much damage to me. They're just constantly spawning. I don't know if we have to just like keep firing on through or do we have to go somewhere. I feel like we just have to keep firing on through because it hasn't stopped them spawning, but there might actually be an infinitely spawning area. Okay, let's use the ar arbiter. Boom. Oh, okay, we did have to keep fighting. That was a bit weird. Because if you if you spear in the game, it means you have to just keep fighting. That, that's, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? It's a, it's a bit annoying. But we actually have have opened up a new area. Let's continue on. It's going to be the last area in the game. Oh, or the uh, uh, the mission even. We actually got another black mill. That means we have actually completed it. We saved all our three men, and we actually unlocked the last tournament. The L L L whatever tournament. But we have actually got some missions to do. We've got speed trap and spider on a wire. Okay, it looks like we actually. Oh, it's one of these again. Fair warning, guys. Probably won't be able to do this. I'm going to attempt it once and then never again. I don't like these missions. They're a bit too. RNG based. I know, like, if we're already going to fail because we haven't actually completed the, um, we haven't shot them all, and the only way you can actually do this is by getting the perfect combos and stuff. It doesn't matter staying true in that regard, but I, d I haven't got the time or the patience to actually learn the entire strategy of this area, so I'm not really going to waste my time doing it. Also, that is really cool. If, if an enemy walks into your path, it freezes where you are. That's actually a pretty big glitch, don't you think? I think it is. But yeah, I, I'm not going to go for this these type of missions because I don't like them. They're, they're not my cup of tea. Simple as that. That's the reason I'm not going to go for them. If you guys want to go for them on your save file, go right ahead. But right now, not for me, you know. I'm guessing you get an achievement for actually completing all these missions, but yeah. Just look at look how, how many items there is. That's, that's crazy. Like, there's so many. There's so many of them. My god. Um, it's fine, you know. We, we, we've done a decent attempt at these. Like, we're literally around a quarter of the way there. Which isn't even that great, to be honest, but for what it is, it's better than what I would probably do on my own. <laughs> If I'm honest, I'd probably just skip these missions because I don't like them. Uh, I really don't. Like, there's a lot of stuff I don't like in Ratchet and Clank, er, or, or Ratchet Deadlocks, or Ratchet, or whatever you want to call it. There's so, there's so many stuff I don't like, and that's just because I feel like this game's so rushed in comparison to its, like, counterparts. I don't know why, I just felt like there was, like, we've had every other Ratchet and Clank game coming out at the same time every year. Let's go and try to get another one. And, and they tried, and it went down the toilet. It's kind of like the whole Spyro series with the whole... Spyro 1, 2, and 3, and then they sold the rights, and it's kind of like the same. I know Insomniac made this game, and it's still owned by Insomniac, but it just doesn't feel... It feels meh. You know, it feels meh. Also, there's an enemy blocking me again, again, which I'm not complaining. More more, more points for us, I guess. Oh, no, it's the actual orbs. Okay. Um, didn't know it could do that. So this does seem quite possible. Like, it really does. Like, like I'm not even trying here. I'm not even trying to get all the points I can. And to be honest, it does seem really, really possible to actually get as much money as possible you know like it feels like you can't actually achieve anything i know we're at the end here but i could probably get this complete but i'm not going to because i don't enjoy them like i said i only do stuff i like to enjoy on my channel and i fail the challenge big surprise there we actually did complete every other one except the the one bit oh, come on, i don't want to do this challenge uh, let's go and do speed trap yeah we get, we get quite a few points but uh, i do like the racing ones i do like the racing missions because they, they do add a bit more depth to the game I think but the whole spider base mission or the crawl or whatever you want to call it not a fan I'm honest I'm not a fan and there's quite a few things in this game I don't really like and that's one of them not really that much of a fan I'm pretty sure we don't need to beat them if we do then balls to it you know what I mean if we do have to beat it I'll probably just put it on easy and do it that way because I don't know if easy actually downscales the challenges or not I'm guessing it probably doesn't but it might do so if it does well I'm guessing we might have to do that but then if it doesn't fine I guess it's fine the drive missions are pretty easy anyway like you just drive through the checkpoints which we pretty much three quarters of the way there now pretty easy it doesn't remind me a lot like Harry Potter you know the original Harry Potter game I did on my channel a while ago um, with the whole um, Quidditch factors you know you decided to play Quidditch in that game you just have to like go for the rings boom bam maximum nano tech increased and that's how we do it and uh, with that we've got quite a few dread points and I'm pretty sure we can end the episode here so we've got one more planet to go to, which we're going to be going to next time. So yeah, if you enjoyed the series, uh, with the series this episode, please give a like, it will be appreciated. It will be greatly appreciated, and I shall see you guys next time for more Ratchet and Clank. Gladiators or Deadlock, depending on your version, like, like I always say. But yes, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.